Hey YouTube, back for some more fun. Um, so my 0759 Cummins has a hard start issue. Um, it starts, but sometimes it likes to take a little bit longer to crank over than it should. So um, I had some people tell me about the Hot Shot Secrets Stiction Eliminator, and I know that that is not necessarily for uh, these common rail injectors um, for that standpoint, but I have read a bunch of stuff about it helping people out uh, with these Cummins and that they've had good results. So I have to do an oil change uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that in there and then um, I'll check back in a couple hundred miles and I will give you an update on just how good that's working. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fender liner out on the passenger side using an eight millimeter socket. Uh, that allows you to kind of just get straight in at the, um, the oil filter and it just makes it a lot easier than going underneath and having to work around all the obstacles from the bottom. All right, now that that's out of the way, you can see the oil filter right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the oil change. Okay, I got the oil filter out and I dropped it on my garage floor and made a giant mess as you can see. But I got that cleaned up. Um, I'm going to be putting the new oil filter in. I grabbed this Mopar one, um, did a little bit of research. The Mopar ones are made by Fleet Guard, which I believe is what um, Cummins recommends. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with a quart of oil, put it on. Um, I'm gonna get the drain plug pulled, and while that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my fender uh, my fender liner, that's the word for it, back in, and uh, I'll check back with you. All right, so I'm uh, filling my oil filter a bit of a janky way here because my uh, intercooler line here, pipe, tube, whatever you want to call it, is in the way. I don't really feel like taking that all apart. I got some AC lines and my battery cross connect also in the way. So if I filled my oil filter and then tried to weave it in there, um, it would spill all over the place. So I went ahead and I got it kind of positioned where it'll sit there, stuck a funnel in it, and I'm just filling it that way. Uh, once I'm done, I'll thread it up there. Feel free to um, leave me a comment if there's a better way to do this. This is my first Cummins, so I'm just kind of improvising on the fly here. Um, I might get the oil filter relocation kit if they have one, because this is a pain in the butt. Anyway, um, yeah, if anybody has any tips, feel free to leave me a comment so that I have a little bit easier time next go around. Thanks. So I got my um, oil filter filled with one pint of oil. I went ahead and, or sorry, a quart, a quart of oil. I screwed it up into the uh, filter housing. So that's all set. It was a pain in the butt, uh, but got it done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull my drain plug, let that drain take care of some other things. Uh, drain plug is just pulled using a three eighths drive uh, extender or I guess if you don't have an extender you could use a socket or a breaker bar so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and once it's drained we'll go ahead and put the oil in the valve cover along with the hot shots um, stiction eliminator and then we wait all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my oil in now um, this, the oil capacity on these five nines is uh, 12 quarts. I got a quart 
<clears throat> in the uh, filter. So I, math says, right, I need 11 more quarts. Um, I'm gonna be putting this Hot Shots uh, secret stiction eliminator in here. Again, I know that, um, that this was designed primarily for um, hydraulic uh, injectors is the word I'm looking for. Um, and I know I've got a common rail, it doesn't quite work the same. However, I've heard really good things about what this can do to help clean out all motors, not just like the power strokes. Um, <clears throat> so after I get this in, I'll need nine more quarts of oil. So we're going to go ahead and get, I already put, um, four quarts in. I am going to put these two quarts in and then I'll just top it off with the rest. So, I mean, you might not have to do it that way, but hopefully it kind of mixes in and everything. Um, probably doesn't matter whatever the sequence of, uh, emptying this into your motor is, you'll probably be fine anyway. Um, so I'm going to get this put in, I'm going to get the rest put in, I'm going to tidy up some things, I'm going to start it, let it idle for a while, make sure I don't have any leaks anywhere, and um, hopefully in a couple of days I'll check back with good results from this uh, stiction eliminator stuff. So, thanks for watching. So last night after I did the oil change uh, with the stiction, stiction eliminator, um, I went ahead and I just ran my truck up and down the road just to get the um, stiction eliminator mixed in with the oil uh, then I let it sit overnight and this is how the uh, start went this morning the morning after doing stiction eliminator oil change it's probably about 50 degrees out Start was a little better. Also, some initial uh, impressions after driving about 30 miles to work. <clears throat> um, some things that could be placebo. The it does seem to idle smoother, and it does seem to accelerate smoother. Um, whether that's true or not, or just in my head, I don't know. I will say, uh, fact, one factual thing I noticed was my miles per gallon, um, on my readout did go up, um, by 1.1 miles per gallon. And I know that that thing is not, um, ultra accurate but the thing is is that i've got about nine thousand miles on this truck since i reset it last and it has not budged from like 16.7 um or so and by the time i arrived at work this morning i was at 17.8 miles per gallon i do hand calculate my miles per gallon on the daily um well every time i fill up so, you know, the truth on that should come out in the wash next time I do my hand calculations and I will update you guys on that as well. But so far, seems legit. Hey, so this is me checking back in about 720-ish miles later uh, from when I did the oil change with the stiction eliminator. Um, I just did the injectors because surprise surprise it didn't do much for the injectors uh, I will say that it it did seem to help like I had initially thought with the um, the uh, idle and the acceleration it just it did seem so much smoother uh, when I did end up hand calculating my um, my fuel uh, I did I did experience a um, miles per gallon increase um my hand calculations had me at about a mile per gallon 
like just under a mile per gallon increase then my my uh overhead readout had me at just over a mile but either way um i definitely experienced that and i've been hand calculating my my miles per gallon for quite some time so that's the only change i made that in an, an oil change but i had hand calculated after numerous oil changes as well without any issues or without any um mile per gallon increase so as you can see maybe here so i'm at 290,000, a little over 290,000. um i did the oil change with uh, about 289,000 something so like i said i did end up going ahead and changing the injectors but I would say just for the sake of this video that that hot shot secret um, it does do something um, perhaps if I had um, you know a power stroke with hydraulic uh, injectors it would have made a, a bigger difference but nobody in my opinion can say that it's that it's garbage because um, yeah, it definitely did it definitely made my my truck a different a different animal um, ever so slightly i uh, probably will end up using it uh regularly in the future just because um yeah any questions or comments go ahead and uh leave them in the uh comments below and if you found this video useful or entertaining well even if you didn't it'd be awesome if you subscribed so i could get some subscribers all right y'all till next time